एवरी वन होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग फाइन दिस इज नितेश गुप्ता वर्किंग एज अ डी बी कंसल्टेंट एट एशनिक टेक्नोलॉजी सोल्यूशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड वी प्रोवाइड सोल्यूशन फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेज सीक्वल मोंगो डी बी इंजीनियरिंग्स एंड क्लाउड टेक्नोलॉजीज टूडे वी विल सी हाउ ईजली वी कैन डू अ मेजर अपग्रेडेशन इन पोस्ट ग्रेज सीक्वल एज अ डी बी ए देर आर टू इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स विच विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी नोन वन इज द डाउन टाइम इज रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस एक्टिविटी सेकेंड इज द डिस स्पेस size of the display should be a double of the size of current database cluster plus 20% extra for proper working in case if you do not have downtime then you can use lonely replication for this upgradation which we will cover in our upcoming videos so let's begin with our objective of how to upgrade postgres sql version 9.1 to 9.3 using pg upgrade utility which is available from version 8.3 of postgres sql and onwards I am using new VM here to demonstrate, so I do not have any Postgres SQL installation. So we will first install Postgres SQL 9.1, and later we will upgrade it to 9.3. The demo, as you can see, that I have already downloaded two binaries: Postgres SQL 9.1, Postgres SQL 9.3, for saving everyone's time. I'm trying to install it, but I'm doing it with some other user. So, so, okay. So I need to switch back to the root user, and we'll try to run the same command again to install Postgres SQL 9.1 using one-click installer provided by EDB. While installing, we'll it will ask for a data directory for the binary directory location, but we will choose all the options by default for this demonstration. so it start installing it after installing it will ask for a stack builder to be installed but we will uncheck it and click on the finish button because stack builder is used to install other packages like slony pg pool pg agent or migration toolkit etc so we do not require it for this demonstration so we are completely ignoring it for the time being by default postgres has created uh, one database level user and one operating level user with the name postgres so for the security purpose we will do all the other activities related to database now with postgres user uh, so i'll switch to postgres user and when i'm trying to run psql command it was giving it it is it is giving us errors because we didn't set up environmental variables so to set up we will use the here is a script with name pg underscore env dot sh we will copy all the content from that file and create uh, dot bash underscore profile to set up the environmental variables but before that we need to switch to the root level and change the owner of the directory to the postgres because we are working with the postgres user so i am here changing the directory owner to postgres switching back to postgres and will create the dot bash profile now and copy all the data that we have we have copied from pg underscore env dot sh file in this file and will save it uh, now we need to switch back to the root user and uh, again switch to postgres user to make that script that we have created or set the environmental variables now i'm trying to run ps equal command it successfully running but it is asking passwords so you can provide the password if you want to just for this demonstration i do not want to provide password again and again so i'm changing the entry in pghba file which is used for authorization purpose and changing mdf5 to trust so that it will not ask password for me or for this local machine i must say and i'm saving it now to make this change into effect we will use pg underscore ctl utility to restart the postgres services uh, here you can also use pg underscore ctl reload uh, it doesn't matter much so now we will check that the number of databases that we have currently uh, so you can see that uh, while while curing the dictionary pg underscore database uh we can see that there are three database currently which is by default so i'm creating one more database oops 
I just I need to write the command again so I'm creating database with name which is which should be memorizable upgrade underscore database so now we have four databases in version 9.1 and we can check it by seeing the pg database table which is under pg underscore catalog dictionary so you can see here that we have upgrade underscore database now we will install postgres binaries of 9.3 to upgrade 9.1 data directory to 9.3 so i'm again using the one click installer provided by edb so we'll again run the same command and it will install and we will again use the same by default options to install it we have successfully installed 9.3 cluster as well so we will change the owner of that directory 9.3 to the postgres user so that we will not face any issues like we have faced in 9.1 we will make all the changes that we did in 9.1 and will change the pghba file as well we need to change the first we need to change pghb file entry so i am now direct now going into the 9.3 directory in data in 9.3 data we will find pg underscore hba file which is used for authentication and authorization and we will change md5 method and make change it to trust so that it will not ask password again when we will connect we will try to connect by using a PS SQL utility after changing we just need to save it and uh, we can use the PGCTL utility but we can also use the service file of Postgres SQL to start stop and reload it so I'm this time I'm using to demonstrate I'm using the service file which is created in ATC in a D postgres equal 9.3 restart so now the now i'm stopping postgres equal 9.1 because we need to upgrade it Let's switch back to postgres equal again use ps equal command now you need to mention the port number here as well as because the by default it will go to 5432 and we will be connecting to the 9.1 so I'm connecting to 54339.3 Postgres to show you that it has only three database which is by default. So I'll stop Postgres 9.3 as well. Now we are going to the bin directory of 9.3 server and run pg upgrade hyphen hyphen help to see that what command we need to use. It is showing that we need to mention the old binaries, old data directory, new data directory, old binaries and the new binaries. So we will write this command now. After running this command one thing is very important as a DBA is that it will upgrade the data directory of 9.1 to 9.3 but it will not upgrade the statistics so if the statistics they are not updated then the query, query planner will create the wrong plan for the queries which, which can degrade the performance so it will 
gives us the analyze script as you can see that here is the script name analyze underscore new underscore cluster you can see it here so we also require to run this query to complete our task of upgrading also we need to make changes in the port so let's go into our data directory and open the postgres.conf and we will change the port here from 5433 to 5432 so that all the web tier or app tier doesn't need to make any changes in their configuration and they can connect it with the by default def configuration that they have we are again using the service file to start the cluster of 9.3 cluster is successfully started so we will switch to postgres user and will connect to will connect by using we'll first run the analyzing script to update our statistic statistic has been updated successfully so now we will try to connect to our database by mentioning the port but it's running on 5432 so we are now entered into a postgres we will run again a query into in pg underscore database table so that we can see that the database that we which we have created earlier uh, is able to successfully migrate it so you, here you can see that we can see now upgrade underscore database so the data is successfully migrated now we will change the environmental variable that we have set up earlier earlier with the we take the copy from pg underscore env of 9.1 now we will copy from 9.3 and again edit the same file so that the data directory and the port number is all remains in sync after doing all these things you just need to make sure that the path you need to change if you are using any database script or you are you are you are, you are using cron if you have mentioned a backup policy or you have defined the data directory somewhere you need to make the changes of all those paths which is necessary plus to avoid any confusion you can take the backup of previous data directory and uninstall the postgres installation of version 9.1 by using uninstall postgres utility so i'm trying to make it uninstalled but i think that i'm getting error okay so we need to switch back to the root user to use this command because the this command can only be run by root user so i'm switching back to root user and going into the directory and now using uninstall hyphen postgres sql so that i will uninstall it so it will uninstall it and now we have successfully migrated data from postgres sql 9.1 to 9.3 if you have any query related to this topic please free to revert do like our videos share it on facebook twitter and let's make this postgres sql thing easier together please subscribe to our channel for more such tutorials in the future thank you for your time and patience please add your issues if you have any queries in the comment section below thank you